offensive line coach Jack McNell for Ole Miss. Um, okay, how does it feel? Kind of like I, I asked Jordan Tommy at Media Days, how does it, you just have to feel blessed having the receivers you have. Well, okay, what about you? You've got such an experienced mm -hmm. offensive line. What is that? Does that make your job easier? Or, oh, you know? much easier, no question. And it's, uh, it, especially in the offensive line, I think probably more than any position, it's, it's a situation where when you have that experience, these guys now, um, have seen so much and nobody's going to be able to throw something out there that they won't know how to handle. So uh, that's something that I've been in the other situation too, where I've gone in with really young guys and that can be a really uh, scary situation. Right. So, um, you know, it, it, there's no question that it makes you feel great. And, and I think not only are they great players, but they're great young men. And, and uh, you know, I've always felt like the offensive line has to be the foundation of a team. And I think they are. I, I agree. For I've, I've had the Rebel Walk for this will be the start of my fifth year, and mm. from the very beginning, I mean, I know everybody's all excited about the receivers and everything, right. but I, I always just the big the big guys up front. Just oh, yeah. you know, I have such a respect for them. Um, so I asked uh, uh, Sean Rawlings at Media Day. I asked him a few questions, and one of the things he said about the offensive line being so experienced was that. Even when they make a mistake or when somebody makes a mistake, they all, it's, it's easier. They know what each other's going to do and it, it helps right. them kind of react and, and right. mitigate that, yeah, I sure. guess, a little bit. Yeah, so. there's, yeah I mean, it's, it's uh, again, playing together for so long, um, I think, you know, you just get used to each other and what, what maybe your strengths and weaknesses are. And um, I think maybe even subconsciously sometimes guys will. Um, you know, know what someone else is going to do, you know, versus certain situations. It's easy if they just line up straight in front of you and nobody moves. Right. That would be yeah. easy. But, of course, that doesn't happen. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're getting all different kinds of um, situations, guys walking around and guys, you know, slanting and linebackers blitzing and things. So um, that's the big thing is that they have the experience to be able to handle just about whatever anybody would throw at them. Yeah, and uh, talking about what great guys they are. I yeah. mean, all across the board, such really fine young men. Yeah, they really the are. Line. And that's, to me, that's really important, especially in the old line. Uh, it's a position where you can will yourself to be a great player, maybe more so than receiver or something. I mean, you can try as hard as you want. If you're not fast, you're probably right. not going to be very good. But um, I think in the offensive line, it's definitely a position where if you're a great person with great character, and you're going to work real hard um, and kind of never give up and keep competing, then then a lot of those guys end up playing. So, um, yeah, that but that's that it almost has to be, in my opinion, that your offensive line is the example for the offense at least, yeah. and and even the the whole team because um, just the nature of the position that. that you, you sort of uh, are relying on that. Yeah. Um, if you could just talk a little bit about Sean Rawlings. Very smart guy. Uh, very businesslike. I mean, you know, and he competes all the time. And, you know, he, he can really set the example for not only the offensive line, the whole team, about how you should go about things. And center's a position where that guy has to direct a lot of things. He's got to... Um, you know, be able to tell guys what to do, and he's great at that. And, and it's a great comfort having him in there because you know that he'll be prepared, that he's going to compete as hard as he can uh, the whole game. And, and um, so he's he's been, and, and not to mention, he's a good player with a lot of physical attributes that uh, allow him to be a good player. Right. Um, Coach Luke mentioned in his press conference um, Ben Brown and uh, Royce Newman and right. Matthews, I think. Yeah. So as mm -hmm. three guys who will right. get to possibly you know, contribute some this right. year. And mm -hmm. um, so I guess, um, what is it about them that perhaps, especially Ben, I've heard so many things, you know, about Ben. I mean, is it their, do they have, is it their technique? Is it their athletic ability? I mean, what is it that? Yeah, you know, again, it's probably a combination mm -hmm. of a lot of different things. Uh, the three guys you just mentioned, fall in line of the greatest people in the world, you know, great competitors. Uh, they're coachable. They try to do what you ask them to do. Um, ben, you know, once you tell him to do something one way, he's going to do it, you know, and he's able to take what you're talking about in the meeting room and put it out there on the field and, and be able to do that. And, and uh, 
you know, Bryce and Royce are the same way. I mean, they're, they're going to, um, first of all, they have the physical ability to do it. And secondly, they have the um, desire, the competitiveness to work hard in, in order to make them good players. So we like to play seven guys, um, eight. We'd love to play eight, you know, and so those would be the eight guys right now that are kind of, um, you know, in a position to earn some playing time. And are, are all of them physically, everybody's healthy right now? Yep. Okay, good. Sean's healthy? Okay. Yep. Good. I okay. mean, you know, right now. <laughs> right now. I know, I know. I, I joke, you know, maybe, maybe those are the guys we need to put the green jerseys <laughs> yeah, on. You know, exactly, I don't know. Right. Anyway. That'd be so. hard.